Think Japan is too expensive for budget travelers? Think again. We're debunking this myth, teaching you to navigate Japan's public transport and find affordable lodgings. We'll direct you to low cost local eateries and free attractions. We'll reveal shopping tips, suggest the least crowded times to visit, and show you how to experience traditional culture cheaply. We'll also introduce you to Japan's stunning, cost free nature and help you understand tourist discount cards. So buckle up as we guide you through the top 10 tips for enjoying Japan on a budget. First up, conquer Japan's massive transportation system without breaking the bank. Now, folks, Japan's public transportation network is extensive, but don't let that intimidate you. Think of it as your fast lane to adventure and savings. Wondering how? Let's dive in. Rail passes, my friends, are your golden ticket. The Japan Rail Pass, for instance, grants unlimited travel across a vast network of trains. It's like having a magic carpet, except it's a train and it's real. But remember, not all journeys need to be long. For those short city hops, consider prepaid cards like Suica or Pasmo, tap and go. It's that simple. And let's not forget buses. They're a fantastic option for reaching those off the beaten track spots. Many cities even have day passes for unlimited bus travel. Efficient route planning is key. Get yourself a reliable navigation app and master the art of commuting like a local. Mastering Japan's public transportation is the first step towards a budget friendly adventure. And we're just getting started. Next, let's ditch expensive hotels and embrace affordable, unique accommodations. Now, if you're thinking about accommodation in Japan, your mind might jump straight to luxury ryokans or towering city hotels. But let's flip the script. Japan's accommodation scene is rich with cost-effective options that don't skimp on comfort or experience. Ever heard of capsule hotels? They're a fantastic way to save money without sacrificing a good night's sleep. Compact, private and equipped with essential amenities. These futuristic pods are a budget traveler's dream come true. Or how about cozy guest houses, often family run? These places offer a homely atmosphere and a chance to mingle with locals and fellow travelers. They're a steal, offering comfortable rooms at a fraction of the cost of a hotel. And don't forget hostels, where you can opt for a dorm bed or a private room. Many even offer communal kitchens where you can whip up your own meals and save on dining out. With these accommodation hacks, you'll rest easy knowing you've saved a bundle. Now let's talk food. Amazing, mouth-watering and surprisingly affordable food. You're in Japan, home to some of the finest cuisine in the world. And guess what? You don't have to break the bank to eat well. You just need to know where to look. First, embrace the local dining spots. These are the places where the locals eat and they're often the best places to find delicious, inexpensive food. Think neighborhood noodle shops, local sushi joints and street food vendors. Next, avoid the tourist traps. These are often overpriced and don't offer the authentic Japanese dining experience you're after. Check out local food markets too. They're a treasure trove of fresh ingredients and ready to eat delights that won't hurt your pocket. And don't forget convenience stores. Yes, you heard right. In Japan, convenience stores offer a wide variety of tasty and affordable meals. So ready to tantalize your taste buds without emptying your wallet? Experience Japan's rich culture and stunning nature, all for free. Yes, you heard that right. Japan is not just about 
glitzy shopping districts and high-end dining. It's a treasure trove of attractions that won't cost you a single yen. So, where can you go for free? Let's start with the historical sites. Kyoto, the old imperial capital, is home to hundreds of shrines and temples. While some have entrance fees, many are open to the public at no cost. Next, let's talk about parks. Ueno Park in Tokyo is a massive green space that houses several museums and a zoo. But the park itself is free and it's especially beautiful during cherry blossom season. Then there's the iconic Hachiko statue in Shibuya, a beloved symbol of loyalty. And let's not forget Japan's scenic coastline and mountain trails, perfect for a day of exploration. Who said you need to spend big to experience the best of Japan? Looking for souvenirs? Nowhere to shop without overspending. Thrift stores in Japan are a treasure trove of unique finds, from vintage kimonos to antique ceramics, at prices that won't make your wallet cry. Now, if you're after something fresh off the rack, but still reasonably priced, local markets are your best bet. They're filled with a wide range of goods, from clothing to handcrafted items often directly sold by the artisans themselves. Not only will you score a great deal, but you'll also be supporting local businesses. And don't forget about the 100 yen shops. These stores are Japan's answer to dollar stores, offering a variety of items for just 100 yen. From quirky stationery to adorable kitchenware, you'll be surprised at what you can bag for such a small price. So, shop till you drop without the shock of a hefty bill. Timing is everything. Discover the best times to visit Japan for fewer crowds and lower prices. Now you might be thinking, Japan is fabulous all year round, how do I choose? Well, savvy travelers, it's all about avoiding the peak tourist seasons. That's right, you want to steer clear of the golden week in late April and early May, Obon in mid-August and New Year's holidays. These periods see a surge in local and international tourists, leading to sky-high prices and crowded attractions. Instead, consider visiting during the shoulder seasons late May to July and September to early December. You'll find fewer crowds more affordable accommodations and a more relaxed atmosphere. Plus, the weather is typically mild and pleasant, perfect for exploring. So, plan smart, travel off-peak and enjoy Japan without the tourist rush. Immerse yourself in traditional Japanese culture without spending a fortune. Japan's rich cultural heritage is not tucked away in expensive museums or high-end events. It's a living, breathing part of the everyday life. You can witness the beauty of a tea ceremony at many temples across the country. These serene rituals, where every movement is a dance and every sip of tea a moment of mindfulness, are often free or require a small donation. Local festivals, known as Matsuri, are another fantastic way to dive into the culture. These vibrant events, filled with music, dance and traditional costumes, take place throughout the year in cities and towns across Japan. From the snow festivals of Hokkaido to the lantern festivals of Kyoto, there's always a Matsuri happening somewhere. And the best part? they're completely free to attend. Experience the heart of Japan's culture and keep your budget intact. Witness Japan's iconic landscapes and outdoor adventures without spending big. Japan's nature, as stunning as it is, doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg. Let's start with hiking. Japan is a hiker's paradise, with trails that cater to all levels of experience. From the gentle paths around Mount Fuji 
to the rugged terrain of the Japanese Alps, hiking is a great way to immerse yourself in Japan's stunning landscapes without spending a yen. For those who prefer something less strenuous, public parks are your ticket to enjoying nature on a shoestring budget. With cherry blossoms in spring and vibrant foliage in autumn, these parks offer a year-round spectacle, absolutely free of charge. How about a beach day? Japan's coastlines are dotted with beautiful beaches that are open to the public. Pack a picnic, bring a towel, and you've got yourself a budget-friendly day out. So strap on your hiking boots and explore Japan's natural beauty on a budget. Ever heard of discount cards and coupons? They're your best friend in Japan. These little lifesavers can significantly reduce your spending on attractions, dining, shopping, and even transportation. For instance, Japan's major cities offer discount passes for unlimited travel on public transport, which often include entry to top tourist sites. The Osaka Amazing Pass and the Tokyo Metro Pass are just a couple of examples. And don't forget about the Japan Rail Pass for extensive long distance travel. It's a steal if you're planning to hop between cities. Then there are the dining coupons. Many restaurants offer meal vouchers, especially in tourist areas, giving you a chance to sample Japan's gastronomy without breaking the bank. Shopping coupons are also common, particularly in department stores and duty-free shops. They can help you snag that perfect souvenir at a bargain price. With these discounts, you'll be exploring Japan like a pro and saving money while you're at it. Last but not least, plan smart and maximize your savings. The key to enjoying Japan on a budget is careful planning and strategic budgeting. Start by setting a daily budget for essentials like food, transport and accommodation. It's a good idea to have a little extra set aside for unexpected expenses and irresistible souvenirs. Plan your itinerary in advance, focusing on free or low cost activities. Prioritize experiences over possessions. And remember that the best memories are often free. Consider purchasing a tourist pass for unlimited travel on public transport, which can save you a lot in the long run. Also, take advantage of discount cards and coupons available for tourists. Book your accommodations and travel passes well in advance to get the best deals. And don't forget to factor in off-peak travel times when planning your trip. Remember, a budget doesn't mean compromising on your experience. It's all about making smart choices. With smart planning, your dream trip to Japan can become an affordable reality.